contribution to our lives, amen? And so we're thankful for that. We're going to ask if you have your Bibles this morning, that you would turn with us to Psalm 65, amen? You know, it's because God is a God that is providential, a God of providence, a God that made provisions beforehand, we ought to praise Him. Amen. We don't ask if you can stand, stand with us. Turning your Bibles to Psalm 65. This is your call to worship. Amen. Amen. Look at that verse 4. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you. That he may dwell we shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, God, of your holy temple. Amen. Isn't it good to know that we are the elect of God? Amen. That God chose us, amen, hallelujah, before the world was framed. Isn't it good to know Jesus today? If you know Jesus, give him some praise right now. Could the dead and gone slept in a grave, but God made death behave so that we might come together to worship Him. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that this is the day that the Lord has made. And God, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We understand, Lord, that our next second is not promised. Lord, we could fall down right now, God, and, and our souls could be required of us. God, we pray that this would not be like any other day. Lord, we pray that that person who's been on delay will delay no more. We pray that now will be the time. We pray that today will be the day of salvation, Lord, on Mother's Day, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for this time of worship, this time of coming together, Lord. Hallelujah. Gather together in your name to worship you, Lord God. Simply because of who you are, we worship you, Lord God. But Lord, we praise you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're about to do. We give you praise, God. You are worthy. 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 We praise you. And we thank you now, God. In Jesus' name, amen.
closer to him. Don't fight that feeling, just give it to God.
Hallelujah. Recognize those who may be here for the first time. Before we recognize those who are here for the first time, Happy Mother's Day. Oh, let me say it like this. We want every, all the mothers to keep their seat. And everybody that's not a mother to stay and let's give our hand clap of appreciation to our mothers. It does in a different way. Same, same death. Same death. Just in a different way. Mothers are nurturers. Fathers are, let's get it done. Amen. 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 You may be seated. And we want to honor. Amen. At this time, the mothers. And just to say thank you to our mothers. We're going to ask the mother of our church. Amen. We, only have, we have got a lot of mothers here of the church that we call mothers, but only one mother of the church. And that's Mother Cook. Mother Cook. Amen. Amen. This is the church mother. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand and pray for us. Amen. And we also want to honor the first lady. Please take your seat. 
still trying to get on that group. I'm yet auditioning. And they said, don't give up that The word is found in the gospel according to St. Matthew's 15th chapter. Beginning at that 21st verse. If you plan on tipping out between now and the end of the message, you're going to have to tip out now. Amen.
look a glance at the scriptures, these particular scriptures, there are difficult passages to understand. Because Jesus' apparent attitude toward a person with such desperate need. Jesus was both silent and he was straight to the point. But however, one thing need to be understood. We do not know what was happening in the heart of the woman. But Christ knew. He knew every thought of her heart. And he knew exactly what was needed to lead her to a personal faith in him. Are you praying with me? Christ was not rejecting this mother nor refusing to meet the need of a desperate person. He never turned from a person who genuinely seeks him. Uh, he was not harsh or mean to the mother as it appeared. Uh, his harshness or his justice is never manifest Except against sin. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. At first, the mother saw Jesus only as the son of the. Mm -hmm. She saw him only as a great miracle work. She saw him only in terms of earthly power. As a great man who was to liberate people from their, their ill, their, their problems, shortcomings, whether national or personal. She needed to grow in her concept of who Christ really is. This mom needed to grow in her faith. It's probably the key to interpreting what is happening between Christ and her. It is a personal experience. And it goes to show how perfectly in tune that the Lord is with each one of us. She simply needed to learn step by step that Jesus is Lord who is to be wished. to give up. When we don't get the answer like that as we want it to be. And because of that we are not going through the process. We are not growing in that area where we need to grow. We short circuit his blessings all our lives. We don't, we are not persistent. Uh, he is the master, church, of our lives. And a person must persist, 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 and demonstrate humility in seeking him. He, he would drill. To the coast, to to the the borders, the, the outline. Yeah. He he was driven to to where the Gentiles were. Uh, 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 he was deliberately withdrawn to the borders of the Gentile country. For he needed time. He needed quietness to prepare both himself and his disciples for the end of his reason 
being born as a baby. A cry of me. The woman cried for three things. She cried for mercy. No matter the need, no matter what it may be, Jesus can never turn away from a desperate cry for his mercy. The problem is that some of us have got desperate enough. We still think we got things that we can uh, move faster than the Lord can. That we got ways to help him out. Some of us just have learned. But, but two things are essential. One is that when we cry unto him, that we must cry for mercy. Are you praying with me? Yes, that he is the one and only true Lord. Yes. She, she, she cried for the son of David to hear her. She cried not for herself, but for another person. Yes. She cried for her daughter. She had a desperate need. Her daughter was under the power of Satan. Are you praying for me? Uh, uh, another fact is that she had an inadequate concept of who, of, of, of who Jesus really was. But even in all of that, she got Jesus attention. Are you ready for me? How did she get Jesus' attention? Well, she possessed two qualities from which Jesus never turned from. She truly loved another person. Sam was not involved. It was only me had of somebody else, which tells me that if we quit putting ourselves first and put others above ourselves, God will bless us in the process. Now that's heavenly language. The world don't understand that. Uh, 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 she loved so deeply that she considered her daughter's problem her, her own. Don't <laughs> about a mother now. Yeah, yeah. Her life, her pride, her motive, whatever she had to do was to see that her daughter yeah. was made all right. Was right. yeah. restored. Whatever it took. She said, have mercy on me. Look at her problem. Have mercy on me. Not, not her daughter, but, but, but because of what she was petitioning the Lord for on the behalf of her daughter. Lord, have mercy on me. If you grant what I'm asking for my daughter, Lord, I will be on Mothers, don't give 
give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. No matter how far out your children may be, don't give up on them. No matter what age they are, don't give up on them. Amen? She approached the right person. Jesus himself. And she cried. Our mothers cried. She cried for mercy. In, in spite of her inadequateness, she did the right thing. Amen? How many experiences their children living out of the influence of Satan in a different sense but nevertheless living in the sin and shame of the devil and carry the title as being religious folks, church folks, Christians, but yet living out of the influence of the devil. Who is easy to say? Heard somebody say that talk is cheap. But what about living? Come on, sir. And allowing the Spirit of God to empower you, to equip you, to take you through what you can never go through yourself. And you're able to look back on your life and say, I don't know how I made it, but I thank God for the devil. And because of it, I'm better than I was. I'm freer than I was. I'm determined than I was. My faith is greater. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm not the sisters in that book. This man, this particular man, faced three obstacles, major obstacles, I'm almost finished. There was the silence of Jesus. Have you ever called on him to see like you didn't hear him? Let's look at what was really happening. The woman's love and sense of desperation were really seen. She loved so much that she was not going to let Jesus go until he helped her. She kept holding on. She kept after the Lord. Despite his sorrow, Despite the objection of the disciples, despite her being undeserving, but she knew, for she knew that he had the answer, and he could solve her problem. She kept after him. There was no objections of the disciples. It, it seems that two things to them. The woman was, was uh, 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 at least the objection of the disciple. The woman was created and embarrassed in the situation by crying after them. Embarrassment is one of the words that the enemy created. Because you embarrassed, you don't praise God.
our hope. He alone was to be Lord and Master, whom she was to worship. She had to learn the same lesson that the Samaritan woman at the well had to learn. That salvation is of the Jews. But there is a difference in the way people seek Jesus. There is a difference in the way people see the Lord and pray. They need the prayer of change or all no expectancy. For many folks pray this way. They pray because they think God just might be. They are not quite sure. It's a wrong Unto 
is a spirit of surrendering. These words can be interpreted as harsh, except for one thing. Jesus never spoke harshly or rejected anyone who came to him for a destiny. If a person was true to sincere and had the potential of trusting him with all of the heart, with all
Her belief okay. was so strong that this mama <laughs> just would quit. Okay. Okay. This mama would quit. Whatever it took, she would quit. Despite she feeling the silence from the Lord, the irritation, the opposition, the, re the rebuff, and being told she was undeserved. She would quit. There's no way to describe the scene except oh Lord, great is the faith. Imagine this. She believed that Christ's power could overcome space and time. Her daughter was not home, but yet she was there before the mess. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Her faith in Jesus' power, as great as it was, it was not enough. It was not enough, church. I'm ready to go. I'm going to see you. It was not enough. Her faith was not the cause Jesus to answer her prayer. That's what it was. Her faith was not enough. What caused Jesus to answer this heathen, this unchurched woman? What caused Jesus to answer her prayer was her personal Humility was her surrender and worship of Him and the Lord. Christ answers the prayers and exercises power yes. in behalf of those who surrender, those who humble themselves to Him yes. and worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hebrews 11 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Amen? But he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward to them that diligently seek him. That's first to each one of us. The steps taken by this dear mother tells us. Great mm -hmm. faith. It is a desperate cry of need. Great okay. faith. It is a persistence that will not quit. No matter what it may be. Or what comes or get in our way. Yeah. That distraction will not hit. Mm -hmm. It is a spirit that worships Jesus as Lord. It is a spirit of humility and surrender to the Lord. It is a faith that receives its requests. It is a, it's a faith that stands continuously before the Lord. It's a faith that says that everything else said no, you yet stand on yes. It's a faith that started out of nothing. But landing on everything. It's a faith of letting go and let go. It's a faith that denies self and trusting in Him with all of your heart. It's a faith that believes that He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you may even ask or we may even ask. It's a faith in removing self and trusting in God. Yes. It's a faith of knowing that you are where you are because of the mercy and the grace of God. It's a faith that always look to the healed for what's coming out of God. We know that our help coming from the Lord that made him It's a faith that
that never quits. That's resistant. It's a faith that always keeping your eyes on the master. I'm A mother's cry. A mother's cry. Which applies to all that come to the Lord. Petitioning his throne of grace and mercy. That he will answer if you have those qualities. That desperateness. That persistence. That belief. That humility, that faith, if you believe. As the ministry of the deacons come forward, I'm going to ask that you, as the Holy Spirit, tug on your heart straight, not to try to analyze or whether you should or should come down, not to try to figure it out, to know that the enemy will never tell you to come down the altar to give your life to Christ. He'll never tell you to come to the altar to be prayed for. He'll never tell you to come to the altar and be healed. He'll never tell you to come to the altar and be delivered. He'll never tell you to come to the altar and be restored. He'll never tell you that. So if you wonder and try to figure it out, the enemy already got it. He got your mind. Just do it by faith. As the bride goes out, husband, wife, come by faith. Come by faith. Believing that he is a reward to them, to you that diligently seek him. Will you come? Will you step out by faith? The Lord, here I am. Here I am, Lord. I'm coming. I don't understand it all. I can feel the tough. I know I'm not here just by accident today, but I, but I feel your presence. And I know that you want to do something in my life today. He has set the moment for you. He has set the moment in space.